last episode we have touched upon a very important aspect of our lives which is ego we talked about what is ego what is egoistic behavior and the difference between true ego and false ego in today's episode we chat about the behaviors that you can identify with people who are grounded in true ego versus false ego now true ego is basically a person who's identified themselves with that inner subtle pure self that i that aham that we have talked about is our purest of the pure subtle self that comes into this world which is a sense of self and now that sense of self when it gets conditioned when it gets identified with the body with the emotions with the vices then it leads to false ego because that is not your true nature your true nature is that subtle self whereas you are identifying and you are thinking that you are this body you are thinking that all the emotions that you are going through is who you are whereas you are not truly your emotions nor your body so so that's a bit of a summary there in terms of what is true ego and false ego now the behaviors a person who is grounded in true ego loves to be in silence because the nature of the true self the nature of aham the the true self is silence and the nature of the false self is constant chatter constant gossip constantly busy talking or constantly busy thinking about something or the other so the person who is grounded in true self loves to be in that silence the silence of the inner self is what gives them energy unfortunately for the people who are grounded in false ego they get energy obviously by chattering by gossiping by constantly being busy with the mind or with the body the other behavior that is a differentiator between true and false ego is the people who are grounded in true ego do not seek happiness or pleasure from outside they are content with that happiness that comes from inside the inner experiences of bliss is what they feed on whereas people who are grounded in false ego are constantly seeking that happiness or pleasure or that stimulation from outside whether it is food whether it is friends whether it is parties whether it is you know all the name fame show the pomp and show the external palafrenia like big cars big houses big you know stuff everything coming from the external world is what they feed on i'm not saying those are not important but depending on them for your happiness depending on them for the kick that you're getting is an outcome of when you're grounded unfortunately in the false ego the other important difference is when there is a problem person who is grounded in false ego keeps constantly talking about the problems they keep talking about what happened in the past they keep reminding you they keep going back to the same situation they keep talking about it in every discussion that they have nor they are constantly dwelling in the problem whereas a person who is grounded in true ego receives the problem observes that in a non judgmental way and then provides a solution from a state of non judgmental attitude and from a state of absolute truth now the person who is grounded in true ego is someone who has understood experienced ancient wisdom ancient scriptures by practice by discipline by understanding each of those elements and translating those experiences into wisdom and providing a solution which is not just from their personal agenda or not from their personal opinion but for uh, benefit of humanity every solution that they come up is at a grander scheme of things not just for their personal benefit or with a personal agenda so difference between true ego false ego behaviors with a problem is a person who tries to solve a problem uh, who is in the grounded in the false ego is constantly looking at the problem churning in the problem dwelling in the problem and then even if they try to come out with solutions their solutions are going to be very narrow based on their personal benefits or their personal agendas so another very important trait um, the other difference that you could uh, the other difference that you will actually see between true and false ego is the person who is grounded in true ego is always ready to give 
they have this habit of unconditional openness unconditional love for the humanity they constantly want to give to anyone they come across whereas people who are born in false ego they are closed or they are always looking for opportunities to grab or receive rather than give so another very important difference when you come across people is uh, that true ego is always ready to give false ego is looking for every opportunity to grab so as we keep going you will start to see some of these traits of course arrogance of course a rash attitude people who don't care about others uh, interests others opinions and who are trying to rub their interests and rub their opinions are grounded in false ego whereas a person who's grounded in true ego they might look calm they might look you know silent they might look very soft and gentle but their vision their thought process is vast their thinking is for the greater goodness of humanity it is so important to understand when when two people are speaking when a person who is speaking from the true ego is not talking from a personal agenda they are ready to give the wisdom the righteousness the thoughts that benefit not just themselves but everyone around whereas a person who is unfortunately in false ego is masked is in fact looking through the lens of their personal experiences is looking through the lens of their own emotions and trying to come to conclusions and they try to generalize that one or two experiences that they have with everything they try to paint the world through the color that they see um, through their lens whereas a person who is looking the world through the true ego doesn't have any colors they have not been tainted by any of these experiences or emotions and they are looking through a clear transparent glass so that they can see the reality as it is and of course we know that it is easy actually to shift from false ego to true ego with of course a practice of true meditation true meditation clears and cleanses those subconscious clutters it helps eliminate those uh, impressions all those emotions that you have accumulated over a period of lifetime from your childhood from your different experiences during your adolescence during your adulthood whatever experiences that you have accumulated they are cleansed and purified then you can see the world through a clear lens a clear transparent glass and where you can see the people the, the world and the reality as it is so whenever you have conversations in your day to day life try to see these differences where that person is coming from whether true ego or false ego